Hey guys, it's Bailey, and welcome back to the channel for what's going to be a review of 10 of the 100 new lipsticks coming out soon from Urban Decay. They're completely redoing their lipstick line, which means they're, I think, the sheer, the matte, and the original Revolution formulas, which come in packaging that looks just like this. They're all on sale, 11 bucks now, 50% off. So if you, if there was a formula you love, a shade that you had to have, definitely go pick those up now because they are launching all new. Instead of having three different finishes, this this new line has six and like I said 100 different shades so I was lucky enough to receive the top 10 shades that they of the 100 that they are launching so those are what I'm going to talk about today they also sent over some lip liners I, I, they're not redoing that formula though that's one thing I wanted to check because I also I've in addition to having purchased I think I own um, and had purchased eight or nine of the original uh, formula lipsticks. So I was like, oh my gosh, are they also redoing the lip liners too? Because they sent me 10 that kind of correspond with the lipsticks. It turns out they're just adding new shades to that line, but the formula is staying the same. So this is just gonna be about the lipstick. Let me know if you want an entire liner collection because I think only one of the shades that they sent of the 10 um, that they sent over overlap with my existing formula. So I think I have quite a few lip liners to share, but I'm just talking about the lipsticks in this video because there's a lot of ground to cover. So with that, let's go ahead and dive right on in. So first let's start with a comparison of the packaging because there are some relatively dramatic differences. Size, weight, the older packaging right here is this gorgeous, highly metallic uh, pewter kind of shade. Has a rippled texture to the outside, so I feel like it holds on to fingerprints a lot less than the newer package you can see here, which is slightly less rippled in texture. And then you open up the old bullet and you see that there is this flat oval shape, which I personally liked, but I could see where if you have a really pronounced Cupid's bow, it might prove to be a little problematic in getting super precise up in that area. The new formula, all of these have the traditional lipstick bullet shape. I had to do a little price checking here because I was surprised to find, I got an email saying that the older formulas are all 50% off at $11, but the new formula retails for 17. So it turns out there is in fact a price dip from the old to the new formula, which I don't think anyone's complaining about. 17 bucks for all of the new uh, formula lipsticks. But but I wish I had kept the box before I found that out because I don't know what the weight, if they're also decreasing the weight with that. Maybe they're cutting because the packaging is a little less, has a little less heft to it, um, but I'm not sure. Still, price drop gotta love it 17 bucks for these lipsticks which can be considered steep for a lipstick but is very on par with the Urban Decay price point. Still you I mean, if you know and love Irma Decay, you have some expectations when it comes to all of their products, especially their lipsticks and a launch like this. So like I said earlier, I have four of the six new finishes to show you and three of the cream, three of the comfort matte, two of the mega matte, and then two of the metalized, I think is what they're called. So super excited to share. I'll show like just kind of a large scale swatch of all of them right up against each other. So you can kind of see an overall difference in finish. And then I'm gonna get into the nitty gritty and kind of separate them out, showing you up close and personal and application shots of these guys on the lips. Let's go ahead and start with the cream finish. These are probably the closest you're going to get to the original formula. I find that they are a little bit creamier on the lips. They apply a little bit more smoothly. They are full opacity, so it really doesn't take a whole lot of swiping to get completely covered lips here. They're very creamy. They have kind of a balmy sheen. So let's go ahead and get into the actual shades. First up is Naked, and I have to say, I am actually, I'm wearing a couple shades on my lips right now. Uh, one of which is Naked as a base, and then I'm wearing a metalized over it just because I wanted a little bit more color to it because true to the name, this is a very, um, nudie naked. It looks like uh, it is more brown tone compared to something like another shade I'm going to talk about, which is a little bit more mauve. This is back talk, but we'll get to that later. But it actually does have a, a good amount of pink in it. I feel like this is going to be a very flattering nude for those with fair to light skin tones like me. Like this is a nude that I can rock and not have to worry about being dead because it has, or looking, being dead. I died um, <laughs> without looking like I am, you know, a corpse. To, to, to put it pretty bluntly, there are some nudes out there that just make you look a little dead and this is not one of them. So I think this is going to be a very flattering shade because it has just enough pink in the undertone. Then on to Rocksteady. This is a cream finish. It's a deep blue based red, gorgeous cream shade sheen and I just can't say enough good things about it. I think you can tell from the way it applies, highly pigmented, and, but I will say that of all of the formula or of all the finishes in this formula, these definitely have the shortest wear time. Nothing super significant. I mean, it's still like 
four, three and a half, four hours through eating or drinking and light snacking eating. Um, but I think you'll find that with the Comfort Matte, Matte, and even Metalized, the pigment will last a lot longer with those. Then the last shade is Firebird, and this is an interesting cream finish because obviously it has that kind of balmy sheen to it, but this is a magenta, or it's like, it's a fuchsia with, how would I describe this? It's a magenta with fuchsia shift to it. So rather than having like a balmy finish, the balm is more like a fuchsia shift. It's a really, really cool shade. Very similar to another shade in a different finish I'm gonna talk about, but the subtle difference is that little shift, that little fuchsia, fuchsia shift in the shade. Absolutely gorgeous. Moving on to Comfort Matte, these are definitely going to be for the person that wants to, doesn't want that balmy finish, wants a little bit more wear time out of their lipstick, but doesn't want to go full on matte for whatever reason. They find them uncomfortable. Um, it's just not their favorite finish. They find that it sinks into their fine, or it emphasizes their fine lines and any dryness they have around their lips. Whatever the reason, this is your happy in between, right smack dab between a cream and the mega matte, which truly are mega and matte. So let's go through those. Back talk. This is the beautiful beautiful mauve shade that I talked about before. When you apply these, they glide on so smoothly onto the lips. I think they are most close to the NYX Smooth Matte Lip Cream. I think that's what they're called. Obviously very different delivery format. These are way less messy, easier to kind of keep within the lines of your lips. But when you rub your lips together, the kind of slip that you feel is exactly how those feel when they're on your lips. So I think they are super comfortable. Your lips don't feel dry. Like I said, you get that kind of demi matte finish without any discomfort that can come from matte finishes, although, spoiler alert, I personally haven't found that with this mega matte finish, but besides the point. Um, next up is Disturbed, and this is, the one thing I want to say about this, it's kind of misleading the bottom here, like if you were to pick this up sight unseen, um, just going off of what the bottom of the cap is, I think you would be significantly surprised because this guy is almost black, it is so dark, unlike the bottom indicates. It's gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous, has like this beautiful kind of semi-brown tone, I, th I think it's going to be amazing for fall or whenever you feel like wearing it. But that was just one thing I wanted to note about it is I was kind of surprised by how it came off on the lips versus how it looks on the bottom of the tube. And last up for the comfort mat is this hot pink. It is called Menace and it's basically just beautiful. Like that's pretty much all there is to it. This is going to be an amazing hot pink for the spring and summer. That's all I got. That is all I got. I will say though, <laughs> this guy will stain your lips. Like. Of all the lipsticks, I wouldn't say, I know some people don't like it when lip colors stain their lips, some do because they feel like that increases the longevity of the pigmentation throughout the day. Um, regardless of how you feel, just know this guy will stay on and on and on and on and on, like not even a remover can get it off. Um, the finish obviously goes away, like the opacity goes away, but your lips are stained this bright, bright pink all day literally all day. It's insane. Um, and I really did not experience that with any of the other shades here. And I'm going to talk about and have talked about a lot of bold shades. So moving on to the Mega Matte, this is what I was wearing in my Becca uh, Luminous Blush review. A lot of you guys asked what it was. It was this guy right here. It is 714. Uh, it's just the shade 714. It's a Mega Matte. And despite looking like it's kind of a blue-based red here, and I felt like it looked like a blue-based red in that video, it's really more orange. And I think you can tell, especially when you compare it next to something um, like Rocksteady. You can just see here, and granted Rocksteady is just considerably deeper, but next to each other, you can tell just, it has a hint of orange in here, which means it goes great with those beautiful corally cheeks, those coral and orangey summer looks, things like that. So just a difference to be aware of, but it's absolutely beautiful. And like I said, as far as matte formulas go, these are amazing. I have found, oh, this by the way, is Pandemonium, which is, <laughs> This gorgeous purple and this one I do think comes off a little bit lighter than it looks in the actual stick both of these shades while they do wear very comfortably on the lips I don't find they're drying in the least like these are such a comfortable matte formula I do find that it takes a couple of passes across the lips to a become fully opaque and not apply so patchy specifically with pandem pandemonium I notice I notice that mostly with this shade and I think you'll be able to tell in the demo but I, yeah, I just think it will take a little bit of warming up on the lips to where it really becomes smooth and creamy to get a complete coverage. But once it's there, it is on and it lasts, but it doesn't stain the lips, like I said. 
And then the last two that I have in the only other finish I have, by the way, the two finishes that I haven't tried are Sheer and Sheer Shimmer. Those two are not included in the top 10, so can't speak to those, but I have metal eyes and I'm pretty excited about it. First one I want to talk about is Conspiracy and this is a total enigma to me. This is a beautiful lipstick because I think it looks different on everyone. On me it's like this purpley brown uh, base with then this gold kind of shifty shimmer. It, the gold is like so prevalent that it comes off not as a you know glitter or shimmer like the like the glitter in the other one I'm about to talk about does. It's more just like a shift, like it's a true metal formula. And I think it's cool because I saw Cora or Vintage or Tacky here swatching these on YouTube and the way it looked on her lips, like it pulled more gold and purple than it does on me. I think it pulls more brown on me. And so this I think is gonna be such a cool shade and work for everyone, no matter your skin, undertones, skin shade, whatever. It's gonna be a very cool lipstick to wear because it's gonna look different on everyone. And then the other fun one is Big Bang. It's metalized. It's, if you, I guess, so this is actually what I'm wearing over my lips, which is why there's kind of a, a nudie sheen across the top of that. But you'll be able to get a truer, like, depiction of what it looks like on my lips in the swatch that I show here. But this is like if Barbie, if there was a Spice Girl Barbie, this is what she would wear. And I don't hate it. I absolutely love it. It is kind of sheer. You really have to layer it up to get opacity and even under at some angles, it's not gonna look completely opaque. So that's something to consider with this formula is at some angles, it's gonna look like you're just wearing straight up glitter on your lips. And I, I'm not one to complain about that. There is a time and a place and by golly, I'll find it if I need to because it's such a pretty shade. Um, but those are all the shades and I went through all the formulas and finishes and how they wore, what I thought of them. Bottom line is I don't think there is a dud in the bunch. There are just some things to take note of. Namely, like if you don't like, whoops, there went one. If you don't like staining, Menace probably won't be for you. Um, I do think the Mega Mattes though are something that even if you're not, um, if you're a little weary of mattes because you know you've been wronged by them in the past, they've dried your lips out, emphasized X, Y, Z, whatever, you might want to give this formula a go. It's very comfortable. Um, and besides that, I just think all the shades that I've tried are absolute winners. I think the lasting power is amazing. And yeah, I just, I was a little hesitant and I was kind of bummed that they they were just throwing, I feel like they just launched the Revolution lipstick line and then kept adding to it with the shears and the mattes. And then it was like, we're done done with those, out with the old, in with the new, we're launching 100 new shades. So I was a little skeptical, but I have to say, I'm not disappointed in any of these. I think they are a really cool formula and highly recommend you just go and give them a swatch. I hope they have all 100 in the stores that will carry them, which I'm, I think are Ulta. Oh, it's actually on the sheet here. They will be um, Sephora, Ulta, Select Macy's, um, or online in all those, plus beauty.com and urbandecay.com. So I would recommend you go give them all, all a swatch because A, it's fun, and B, that's how you're gonna understand how it like truly looks on your skin. But yeah, I really like them. So thank you guys so much for watching. Really hope this review, you found this review helpful, useful, enjoyed it. Besides that, thank you guys so much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already, and I will catch you in my next video. Bye guys.